Hello my fellow sailors and adventurers. Money saved is money earned to get out cruising. There are many ways that having a water maker on your boat saves you a considerable amount of money. In this video we'll be showing you how to set up an electric powered water maker and produce all your water using solar power. It has always been our dream to become all electric. So after 26 years of running a water maker, we have finally found this holy grail and would like to share with you the hard won lessons we have learnt. Having a water maker saves us money in so many ways. Instead of having to head to a marina to refuel and take on water, we're heading out to the islands, putting our rudder to the town and going out there to make water there instead. There came a point where our engine driven water maker was costing us $4 Australian to produce just 60 litres of water. Now I became very financially motivated and took the plunge in my efforts to electrify our system. Here you can see me looking full of hopeful dreams, having just purchased a very cheap 48 volt 1500 watt go-kart motor from Vevor. This positivity was to be short lived though as this motor failed miserably to run the high pressure pump. Only slightly deterred, I pressed on. With the success of our 10 kilowatt golden motor for our starboard propeller drive, I decided to go for one of their 3 kilowatt motors and another EZ controller, which I hoped would be more successful than the go-kart motor. They are very reasonably priced and arrived within the week care of GHL. I did make something of a mistake here, electing for the air-cooled model, when perhaps the water-cooled option would have been better, but it wasn't long before I was giving the motor a test run. All right, so very excited here. That's uh, the test, first test run of the golden motor, three kilowatt motor, which I'm gonna be using to run my water maker pump and make, make water. So there it is. So straight away it's connected up to the, the app and here we go. We shall give it a run here. It's up about 1500 RPM there. So I am so excited about this little motor. What a beauty. You'll notice I'm using the, the bike style accelerator and switch. So somehow I'm going to modify this to work as to set this to 1500 RPM. Do I even need a water maker, you may ask yourself. Well, when we voyaged the Red Sea in our 13 meter monohull, we survived for two months on just 140 litres of water. We bathed in the sea and washed our clothes in salt water, quite salty but happy. Yet while we survived this adventure, it was far from ideal. In these desert countries, water was in fact more expensive than diesel. My partner Carolyn always says, that when we have lots of water in our tanks, she feels truly wealthy. It was nine months later, with the birth of our daughter, a water maker came to us and changed our lives. Even though our purse was all but empty, we felt so rich having as much water as we wanted. Okay, so it's quite a few months later and we've finally got the golden motor hooked up to the high pressure pump and the whole system is running and this is the arrangement that's evolved. So I'd just like to give you a quick tour of our water maker system. So firstly here you can see the, the inlet valve and here we've got 20 millimeter inlet pipe leading to a 17 litre per minute boost pump or four and a half gallons per minute. And then this runs up to our dual filter system and firstly here is a 20 micron filter going to a 5 micron filter and then this filtered water runs to the boost pump which is a CAT 277 model very popular high pressure pump and there's a belt here that runs the high pressure pump from this 3 kilowatt golden motor 
and here you can see the controller for the golden motor and it has a computer fan there to cool it and you can also see a computer fan here cooling this golden motor. So then the high pressure water comes in to the, to the membrane which is a 40 inch by a two and a half inch mem film tech membrane which I'm going to talk about a bit more. And then here is the product water coming out here and the discharge water there. And you'll see here a, um, a back flushing system, which we would use if we're not going to use the water maker for about say two weeks, but we like to run it every day or every two days just to get the water mostly, but it makes it not have to be back flushed. And here you can see our, our water line level, which means that the membrane itself is underwater and then it won't, it won't drain dry, which, which can destroy them. And it's also good to have your boost pump under the water line level there, which keeps them primed. So that's our system as it's evolved and we're very pleased with it. All right, I'd just like to show you how our solar electric water maker runs. So firstly, we turn on here with the key switch that turns the controller on and that registers on the app at showing it's at 25 degrees. Turn on the, the boost pump down there. And now I use my rather unusual method for setting the RPM here. I shall bring that up to 1500 RPM screwdriver faster right there at 1500 now we just bring up the pressure gradually about 100 psi at a time bring that up to 850 psi that we got water coming okay so you can see here it's putting out about 24 gallons per hour which is a bit more than 90 liters per hour so here we can see the all important parts per million reading just about 110 which is a pretty good reading for a water maker Okay, so here you can see just how noisy it is aboard at anchor. It's a bit noisy. It's worth it for getting all that water. And it's, it's just running from the sun, that's the beauty of it. Just water, water made by the sun. How good is this life with getting everything from solar power? Can't believe how, how good it is. Yeehaw. So now I just have to keep on monitoring the, the motor temperature here. Here you can see our battery at 99% and also showing the power draw of the water maker at 1.6 kilowatts or 32 amps at 52 volts. So if we weren't running the water maker now, this power would just be going to waste. So that is the beauty of of this solar electric water system making use of excess electricity. Okay, so it's hit 120 degrees now, so I'll go and turn it off. So we had about half an hour running there, so we've made like 45 litres, so it's time to shut it down. Pop the pressure off. Loosen that off. RPM drop down like that and shut down. The electric motor has a 30 tooth 5M timing belt pulley while the high pressure pump has a 34 tooth pulley. This gives a ratio of 1 to 1.13 meaning when the motor is at 1550 RPM the pump is at 1370 RPM. This is technically a bit slow for the pump but our system seems to work nicely like this. 
Perhaps a 1 to 1 ratio could be better. Also, I have here the 15mm belt running, but I have broken one of these and am moving up to the 20mm belt. Pre-filters. We managed to keep our pre-filters working for quite a while. We clean them out in this fashion, gently banging the silt from them. In clear clean water, it is very easy, but in silty dirty water I find you virtually need to clean them after every use. If they get a bit stained, we leave them in the sun and let the UV bleach them clean again. Membranes. I have learnt at my expense that not all membranes are created equal. Back in 2000, when we first set up this very same watermaker system on our 43-foot monohull yacht to cope with having a baby aboard, it happily pumped out 90 litres an hour. Then later we set up the same system on this new catamaran Fantasia and it also happily pumped out 90 litres an hour but I had the membrane housing mounted up here above the water line level which allowed water to siphon out of the membrane housing leaving the membrane partially dry which of course destroys them so when I went and purchased a new membrane it unfortunately only pumped out 60 litres an hour much to my puzzlement and disappointment. It was now I discovered that different membranes pump out varying amounts of water. Take this model here, which has a flow rate of 500 gallons per day, and compare it with this FilmTech model with a flow rate of 700 gallons per day, or 29% more. Right here we can see why one puts out 90 litres an hour, while the other only puts out 60 litres an hour. Ah, what is going on here? Some throttle changes. You'll be pleased to see that I have replaced the awkward bike style throttle with a neat potentiometer dial and have kept the key switch and light. Now I can simply dial up the exact RPM without even needing to have the app turned on. Okay, so while we feel this system is working very well for us in our efforts to become fully electric, by no means do I claim it to be the ultimate system. Here we are able to use excess 48 volt power that would otherwise be going to waste while at anchor, which is great. Drawing 1600 watts to produce 90 litres per hour equates to only 17.7 .7 watts per litre, which is nothing special compared to some of the more complex, expensive systems around. So on the other hand, it is a very simple system with the parts easy to come by and not so expensive. So I produce this video with the hope that others will be able to achieve even better results as they too strive towards becoming fully electric there is always a better system, yet for now we enjoy the true wealth of abundant water and my first mate is very happy about this, which we all know is very important. So if you want to check out the details of the solar system that enables us to power this water maker, I'll leave it a link at the end of this video. Coming up we have more in informative videos on the things that improve our sailing life. So look out for those, as they'll be packed full of information. Until then, don't hold back, charge headfirst into your pursuits.